What is up everybody, it's Danny Boy here, and today I'm going to show you guys how I edit my video. Uh, I didn't want to uh, do like a, a gaming video today. I got something prepared for you guys, and I had to, no, and I had to edit something. I had to edit the video for you guys, so uh, why not kill two stones with one rock, or two birds with one rock? Uh, so let me see if I find it here. So right now, what I'm about to do is the following. I'm going to take it because I always put it in a folder, the video that I'm going to do. And I hope this is not laggy. Uh, I'm going to put it in a, in a folder. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drop them into Sony Vegas, which is what I always do. Uh, it might lag for you guys because my computer isn't that good. So please uh, don't mind it. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna click uh, me. I'm gonna click this little icon right here, and go to uh. I already got a template. If you guys want to copy it, here it is for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna screenshot it and put it there for you guys to copy it too. But uh, this is what I used to do most of my videos or all of them. Uh, very important. I have the HDP VR too. Uh, it records at 60 FPS. Make sure you put that 60, 60 FPS and then you put it at a 1.0 uh, square. Then hit apply, then OK. For the video part, you want to put, uh, you want to go right here and go to properties, disable resampling, and maintain aspect ra ratio. That is something very important that you have to do. Same right here. And then what I do, I drop the, the gameplay down to a lower side. So what I'm going to do, okay, for so that I could uh, sync the gameplay up, what I do is that I just, uh, I'll be like, this is my controller. I'll be like, three, two, one. And then I'll sync it up. So I'll be in the main menu and do it here because it's easier. It just goes one over. If it doesn't freeze, you guys, you guys will see, but look, so right there, I went three, two, one. There you go. And then what I just do, I just press S on my keyboard, which splits it. And then I delete the, the, the clip beforehand. And then I go and do the same thing on the first one. But the first one, you guys can actually hear it. So I'm going to put my headphones on real quick. Here we go. Put these on. It's weird. This is a video section. So, you guys are gonna probably, if I hook the OBS right, you guys will probably be able to see it. I mean, hear it. If not, you guys know what I did. So, yeah, let's see. <clears throat> Starting live commentary in three, two, one. There we go. And that's how I sync it up. And then I split it. Then I just delete that. And then what I do, I just put everything at the beginning because it's all sunk or synced into place. Then what I do, okay, I gotta, I'll be right back. I got a phone call. Okay, guys, so I answered the phone call. And right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna edit like everything that I have because sometimes there's like uh, little transitions that I like to put but so I could get the the this uh, my face cam in the corner I already have a preset so what you do is I, I clicked on it too fast I'm not used to doing tutorials but I click on this box right here and then you get to either expand it or oh, wait you can't see okay look you get to either Make it smaller, expand it, whatever you want. And I already have a, a, a preset for it. Oh my god, what the hell. Okay, hold up. Okay. So the preset that I got for it is called Overlay. And that's the one that I always use for it. So, yeah. And then I just... To put the, the little overlay that I made on Photoshop... 
which I will be making a video of uh, later. I just make a new video layer and I go like this. And then I use whichever I want, which I'm going to use this one today. I got a sneeze, wait. Okay. Okay, so I, I clicked on it, and I'm sorry, I, I have a feeling that I want to sneeze, but I clicked on it, and that's all the, the that I did, and for some reason, mine pops up like this, so what I do is go to property, and do what I did earlier, disable resample, and maintain aspect ratio, but yeah, now I'm going to edit it, and I'm going to come back and show you how I render it, and the effects that I put on it so I'll be right back okay so welcome back guys right now uh, I just finished uh, editing so you guys can see the the process right there and uh, I'm gonna let me put this smaller so you guys can see it better I'm about to put some effects on it so the first one is a uh, border and most of the time I don't do it but I, I want to do it to this outro. So I'm going to put a bevel edge on it. So this is the outro screen. And you guys could kind of see it right there. Uh, I got this. And I usually put it like on a red or a black type of scale. Uh, and I size it smaller. But I don't do that many outros. Like outro screens like this. Uh, this one will go great with blue, so I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm actually now looking for the pixelate. I'm not even trying to pixelate it. It's just that I forgot how to blur it. So let me plugins blur. That's a that's an easier way just to do it. Just search it up right there. So coma blur no. Okay, blur right here. And I want to blur the background. So, rotate it, offset, no, and row two, column. I usually give it like a, a pretty bad blur because I don't want nobody to know what the background is. And that's just because it'll look cool like that. And that's not the only blur I put on. I usually put like three blurs. So that's one of them. So right there you can see it looking okay right now. Uh, I hope that I did not lag right there. Then I got the... Uh, oh, my phone just rang. Then I got the... Where is it? Right, ra radio, radio blur, blur. And I just put that on there. And right there, boom. Look how nice that looks. Oh, to me, it looks nice. But yeah, that's all that I do for that. Now for the rest, I just put, I just go back to video effects. I delete this, and I go into level. Where's levels? And this is simple, guys. All you should do is from studio RGB to computer RGB. Just put that on everything. And that's what I usually do. There's no reason to like have to color correct and this and that. Like for example, look, I'm gonna uh, hold up. So look, before, after, before, after, before, after. Like it's literally nothing that bad. So I just added to each one of them. I already put it on that one. I already put it on the gameplay. Let me put it on the outro. And then all I do is sharpness. Sharpen. And I put 200. Uh, 0 0.200. Let me clarify that. Uh, and then that's all. For rendering, what I did, I went right here. And I go like this. Click right there. And it should pop up. When is it going to pop up? Okay. Popped up on screen number two. So. 
Uh, what I did, I just customized the template because uh, they didn't have it in the other place that I did it. And I put a little star next to it. So, like, look, I got 1080 uh, 60 FPS. Uh, I mean, 720 60 FPS, 1080 60 FPS. That's how I want it. And if you guys don't know how to do that, just go like that, customize template, and then you could, you'll figure out everything from there. And then to render, I just go to tools, scripting, batch render. I look for the place that I want to render it at, which is going to be in, where is it? HBK. And then I just save it. And then I put it, I go down here. I press a little plus and put it 72060 FPS. And that's all. Until next time, guys, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.